Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is scheduled for what ball? I haven't heard this theme song in a while. Can I take back my best of all time? It's this guy. <laughs> We've been speaking as of late here on Overdrive about the evolution of certain professional wrestlers across the independence. They don't come any better than Anthony Gangone, I'll tell you that right now. Anthony Gango, no stranger to Ace. We've seen this man evolve. This guy, this guy has so many moves that he doesn't even have names for all of them. Mikey D, this guy has forgotten some things about pro wrestling that most people will never learn. Yep. That's how good he is. You are that good, sir. The one above all, the elite of the embassy, Anthony Gango. You want to talk about an Ace staple? I mean, how long has this guy plagued the ace locker room with his ridiculousness? You know, again, it's a statement you hear all too often in, in pro wrestling and all major sports, but the man who's about to make his way out here has literally done it all. There is nothing that he has not done. I'll tell you what he hasn't done. He hasn't beaten a guy in the ring. And here he is, all these people cheering him. It makes me sick. Do you see that? Did you see that? That's my kind of kid right there. You don't want to give that jerk Rob Vegas a pound. I don't blame you. Buy that kid a soda or something. Rob Vegas, the chess master, as a one hard way HQ man would say, and truly a pillar of history in American Championship Entertainment. He's talking about my notes. I, I literally wrote, it's Rob. Enough said. I would have said, it's Rob. Take me home. I mean, Jesus. How many to be, times? To be fair, that's what the ladies used to say to Rob until he put a ring on it. I think, I think you're looking at Rob Vegas through beer goggles, uh, Mikey D. I think as this match goes on, you'll, you'll see who the better man is. And it's the one above all. That's who it is. I mean, think about it for a sec, Mikey D. Above average Joe Scott and the one above all, Anthony Gangone being represented by you. How better can you get there? This is true, but I, I'd have to go through the embassy to see if I can, I can be added on. I'm, I'm sure, sure a deal could be worked out. I'm sure Prince Nana would gladly give you the nod Cons here. Conspicuous by his absence, Prince Nana. He's got things to do, probably. And here we go, collar and elbow tie up. You're gonna talk about a Matt Classic. I mean, we saw one last week with uh, Darius Carter, right? Darius Carter, Sean Carr. And now we're gonna see one with Anthony Gang going to Rob Vegas. And to think, ladies and gentlemen, this is the opening contest. We still have a main event. That's right. And here's the question. How many times is this buffoon Rob Vegas gonna play to the crowd? You want to put a counter in the, in the bottom of the court and screen for that? Or maybe Mikey D can write that in his notes. There you go. We've seen excellent Matt wrestling the past few weeks on Overdrive. Ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be no exception. If it's one thing that you can expect from Ace Pro Wrestling's Overdrive, it's the fact that you have dynamite wrestling in the ring at all times. It doesn't matter. And what as time for of day usual, as per usual, no clean break. Not for Anthony Gango, no. From the former rogue himself, the one above all. And and now Rob Vegas taking, taking Gango around the world real quick. How many times has Gango cap captured a championship at Ace Pro Wrestling? And how many times has he done it by being a sportsman, as you like well, to Well, I'll tell you, he's one of the most dominant, one of the most dominant Diamond Division champions of the last five years. 
We're seeing right now, you know, Rob Vegas, a pillar here in Ace. We're seeing Anthony Ganko and you guys are, are laying out all the accolades. And what I'm, I'm realizing as I'm watching this unfold and, and, and paying attention a little bit more than usual because I'm, I'm not paying attention to Cheyenne as much, both of these men come with so many different styles. We can see the speed, they have the striking, they have the technical. They also both have submission abilities. You know, when we talk about competitors, the well-roundedness on display right now, it, it's, a, it's amazing to see. And yeah, like you said, you said that Rob Vegas is a pillar, and I'll agree with you 100%. Rob Vegas is one of the ace pillars, but Anthony Gangone is the damn foundation. Yeah, but guys, there is a wealth of wrestling knowledge that ultimately Anthony Gangone does not possess by comparison to Rob Vegas. Well, we'll see about that. And wait a minute, we might... I mean, we could, this could be short-lived here, Cheyenne, exactly. I would, I would really hope that the competitor that is Anthony Gangone is not no. seriously hurt. Wait, he landed down before he could have separated. Sure oh, beautiful. Come on! Oh, fantastic maneuver by Anthony Gangone. Couldn't have done it better myself, even if I tried. I believe the word is Wiley. Fantastic w w w word. I believe the word is underhanded and perhaps Be quiet, you. No. That, that's Smart, more than one word. Cunning. That's what that's the words we're looking for here. Gango knows what he's got to do in order to capture yeah, this the, victory. Yeah, the persistence in applying pain right now is a little bit too much for my liking. Look at that, he's raking them eyes. Rip them right out of his face, yeah, Anthony. Yeah, point, kids. See, Anthony Gango is showing that he's a man of the people. He's, he's bringing the action to the fans. Mikey D, how brilliant is that breaking the count? It is ring presence. It is ring awareness. Gangone manipulating the entire contest right now, keeping it outside the ring. Cheyenne, with all this action we've been seeing, who, who do you stay, do you pick to, 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 to eventually go against someone like Alvin Alvarez for the championship? Amongst these two? Yeah, let's just start with these two gentlemen right now in the ring. You know, I, I, really, I really don't want to say, and that's strictly because at the start of this contest, I thought we had an evenly matched singles contest, but now Gangone has really really just manipulated and twisted this into his kind of match. Listen, don't get me wrong, I'm a big fan of Alvin Alvarez and what he stands for, but if he ever locked horns with Anthony Gangone, that might be the end of his long, long title reign. Mr. D, do you, do you uh, agree with that? Oh, you're definitely on point. You know, something that you mentioned with Alvin Alvarez this week on Overdrive, we're going to see the over 1,000 days reigning and defending heavyweight champ against the true heavyweight, the Jurassic Juggernaut, Vince Steele, and of course, of course I'm going to pay attention to that. You don't even have to ask. Gangone finally taking the contest back into the ring. Well, Mikey D, if you, can, if you can finally talk some sense into Vince Steele and have him not worry about the dip, the dipsticks here in, in T-neck, and maybe he can, maybe you can turn him into a, into a winner again. Oh, big chop. And Gangone ate that. Yeah, and he served it up himself. Look at that. Gangone's just eating these chops. He loves it. Vegas now favoring... Favoring the orbital socket there was at the right side. Oh, listen, game going. Oh, look at that thumb in the yeah. air right there. Yeah, yeah work that right eye. Going right. Ooh, hey, hey, you the, are supposed to be fair and unbiased. The eye is a body part, and if and if Gangone wants to work it, if you can't see your opponent, you can't beat your opponent. Brilliant move by Anthony Gangone the rogue. So about Gangone, he feeds on the fight. You saw that with there with those chops. Feeds on the fight. No, he is maliciously attacking his opponent. I just think he senses I've a weakness. Enough of you. Maliciously, that was a big word. Do you need a minute? You have your inhaler? Yeah, you don't usually use big words like that, Cheyenne. These two going back and forth now with the strikes. Vegas now just totally, totally cocking back as hard as he can with this those elbows. This referee needs to, needs to uh, admonish uh, uh, Rob Bay. Whoa, wait One, a minute, wait a minute. Two! Big knee like a doorstop. Yeah, I mean, Vegas kicked out, but you saw he tried to get away from Gangone. This ref is getting on my nerves because he, he's allowing Rob Vegas to throw close fists. Yeah, I don't but, like it. Yeah, but Vegas just got rocked right in the chin, guys. You guys said Gangone feeding off... Uh, I think Gangone's feeding off these cheers. He wants to shut them up. Vegas. Wow. Nothing special about that. Just a chop. Just totally rude. Claw. It's a killer Kowalski move, no? Claw right to the midsection. Abdominal style, a little bit of Fritz von Erich, if you will. Oh, oh Gangone! Shoulder eats first. That term, eats that turnbuckle, just totally has it. 
has it for a full play lunch. I bet you that was just on instinct on Rob Vegas. Whoa! Three-point stance. There's those signature, signature shoulder blocks. You gotta believe Northern Lights to follow up. Classic Rob Vegas for the win! Only a two. Excuse me, sir. You used my word. Gangone is just one of the best I've ever seen. Bar none. It's gonna take a lot more than a Northern Lights suplex to beat him. I'll tell you that much. And right to the far side. Oh, look at that! Oh! No chin checks for Vegas on that! We've got the cover, the leg, the two and two count only. Hell of a hell of a power slam, but definitely not enough to put the rope down. Yeah, that is a signature maneuver of Rob Vegas. Something that actually got him victories early on in his career. That's not power slam before adapting. The Texas Cloverleaf. Well, if I'm not mistaken, Egg, that's usually like a setup to his Texas Cloverleaf. Correct. So Gangone better be worried. Correct. Vegas usually utilizing the power slam or the tiger bomb to transition fluid. Oh! oh spiked him! That could be the end right here, yeah, Cheyenne. Yeah, quickly going for that cover. Quickly shooting a half. We got a leg hook. We got... And that Vegas is why he's... Two, guys. That's why he's the one above all. Something, Again. something that you guys have not mentioned about Vegas, that the man has not lost a step over the years. Injuries, time, I'll, age, hasn't lost oh, a step. Oh, wait a minute. Well, listen, I'll never question Rob Vegas' athleticism. The guy is very athletic. He, he, he definitely can go. But he worries too much about the, the people here in, in Teaneck. I thought they almost broke that ring, Cheyenne. That's how hard he yeah, had. Yeah, that was another stiff, stiff shoulder block. Vegas again, looking for combination, but Gangone had it scouted, and look at this! Ooh, Northern Lights of his own! Excellent bridge by Gangone, ref, I have to say. Ref's count too slow, let's go, speed that up. Game Excuse is on. I, what? You know what I mean. Speed up that count, come on, ref. And, oh. Got him loaded, double arm situation. Vegas tried to fight out of it, but Oh, no, no, no. Vegas evades. Uh, right now, I think Vegas is just acting on instinct. Oh, wow, look at that. 15 points in the NFL, but it's all legal here. 15 yards, not 15 points. And, and, and where I come from, that's a disqualification. That's a, that's a low blow. Oh, no, that was right at the knee. Okay, that's a chop block. Yeah. If it's a penalty in the NFL, it's a penalty here. Yeah. Oh, is that what it's called? Yes. He's going for a package power drive? Yeah, he's going for it oh. again, but no, Vegas. Vegas now just as aware as oh, Gangone wants to Smart like move by lights. Gangone. God, this guy is good. One, two. Oh, come on, ref, with your slow count. What would that be in the NFL? That would be illegal feet to the face. <laughs> 15 yards, automatic first down. Classic, uh, you like Canadian sports. There's only one Canadian sport, it's hockey. Gang going. How about Canadian football? That's not, that's not. It's not real football. football yeah. that's, that's mutant football. Is gang going as tough as any of your... Uh, 100%. 100%. And you know what? If we put gang going on skates, I'm sure he would come up with a million other ways to play the game. I think that's put, a frightening aspect. You put gang going on skates, he becomes an enforcer for any team he's on. Well, right now, he's, he's on the mat, and he's one of the best, but he's answering every single call that Vegas has. Oh! Right across the temple. It's one thing the three of us can agree on, gentlemen. It's just this action is nonstop. Yeah, and to think we got a Oh, nice event. block. Whoa! Right in the temple. Left hand side. Oh! Murder chop! Gangone just gets better every time yeah. I see him. Yeah, it's as if... It's as if his attacks get better with each one. Constantly evolving, constantly improving. And over. Nice rebound by Gangone. <laughs> look at this, look at this. German. Nice German, beautiful Got German him. suplex by the Rogue. Tried to go for the bridge, but just couldn't. But he's still gonna go with another setup. Go! Oh! Inside out. That was definitely instinctive right there by yeah. uh, Rob Vegas. Yeah, Vegas just Vegas just went a little bit quicker. Oh, here it comes, oh, here no, it comes. No, 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 no. Vegas! Dragon screw. Yeah. Oh, no, oh, no, no, not the, not the text call. Yes, yes. Me. Boys, here checkmate, it comes. Checkmate, checkmate, checkmate. No! Gangone better get to those ropes. Gangone is in no man's land right now. 
Look at the pressure. I mean, he's got this. Oh, he tapped. Happen. That's he it. Tapped. Damn it. Damn it. To me, this match came down to who would give first. It was this, who was going to make the first yeah. mistake. Yeah. That's what it came down to in the end. You know, when we look at these, these past few weeks of overdrive, the matches that we've been lucky enough to see. Each week has been better than the last, Mikey D. 100% facts. And listen, I don't want to give credit to this guy. You guys know I hate giving credit. But Rob Vegas earned this victory. Rob Vegas proving once again that he is a vintage like no other here in American Championship Entertainment. And speaking of which, Shane, we got a main event. This action you, is, is coming you, hot out of the box. Are you done there? What? He has literally filled his notepad with notes. Ace there is Nation. no more pages on that pad. He's filled them all with notes. Ace Nation, it is truly time to kick it into overdrive. It is your main event, the Ace Heavyweight title. Let's go, Alvin Alvarez. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. One fall. And it is for the Ace Heavyweight Championship! Oh, I guess he doesn't have time for one more match. I, I guess, guess he not. <laughs> I feel let down. Yeah. Me too. That's like if The Rock didn't say if you smell what The Rock is cooking. Yeah. There is no Santa Claus. No. Well. Well, here he comes, ladies and gentlemen. I can hear the rumbling. You got the cup of the water. You see the, the water is shaking. Yeah. Here he comes. All right. Mikey D, please take this guy under your wing and change his viewpoint, please. Some say. Look at this, oh come on, Vince, you're better than this. Some say that Vince Steele is in fact having the best year of his career There's today. no secret, guy's been to Puerto Rico, he's been everywhere, he's been all over. You know, to take a guy like Vince Steele on, you know, he's he's gone viral so many times be a major in the last player. couple of years, and I don't mean the kind of viral that Cheyenne's used to. Cheyenne's used to virus, oh. not viral, you got that wrong. I was saying when he has his mom make all the accounts, the light uh, That too. But Vince Steele. Look at Vince Steele. Recently touring WWC, the southern region of the United States. Vince Steele's Shadow doing so wrestling. good, he got a new hairstyle, huh? Shadow Wrestling. He's been making his mark everywhere that he goes. Why well, Some I have said, him. some have said that tonight is in fact his night. I have talked to him earlier today, and he said that he is trying to make sure that he establishes his name, not only at Ace, but around the entire wrestling business, as the best big man in the business. He's got a, a very tall order. You have one of the longest reigning champions in the business, Alvin Alvarez. And Alva, Alvin Alvarez has used his head to keep that belt many times over. You Think about how many that he's cheated. What's the matter does with he, you? Does he have the belt? A win is a yes, win is a win is does, a win. As long as he comes the, out on top, yes, he's a winner. Yes, he does have the championship. Ladies and gentlemen, Mikey D, stand up with me. Stand up with me. Excuse me. I, I'll, I'll clap for respect for the title. He's the champ. He's the champ. People need to get up and give him respect that he deserves. You think about all the great... He's absolute, Cheyenne. When you, the absolute. When you think of the list of champions by reign of longevity, I, I believe Alvin Alvarez is number seven all time in the history of the business of being you, a world you hear that? champ. Did that go into that headset of yours? I know you heard that. I think Alvin that, Alvarez, the spirit of of, of, of uh, Bruno San Martino is watching. He's explaining to some of the mongoloids here at T-Neck that he's the champion for over a thousand days. They it, still don't get it because they're stupid. You I want to point this out. We, we've, we've now had weeks of overdrive with Tony Fatu joining us, and he finally said mongoloids. I've been waiting for it. What do you think? I wasn't going to drop it in at least one of these weeks? And you waited for the title match. That's the heavyweight it. title. Let's That's how important it is. Let's make a statement right now. Say what you will. But Alvin Alvarez, to truly capture the zeitgeist of his entire title reign, has victories over the likes. Cade Lothrop, Dan Moff, and in fact, Vince Steele. Okay, so there's three giant names of Ace Pro Wrestling, and you're still not going to give this guy the credit he so rightfully deserves? I just want to point out, you can say what you will, myself included, about the validity of hashtag absolute Alvin Alvarez, but he is in fact your reigning and defending Ace Heavyweight Champion, and you are going to see him in action Number right here on over. Number seven on the all-time champions list. How, how good does that get for him? How good does it get that right now we're going to see 
the big match introduction for your main event. And now for the introductions. A challenger hailing from South Boogie, New York, weighing in at a slimming 400 pounds. That's pretty slimming. He is the what is Vince Steele doing here now? Something wrong with his introduction. I he has been smashing DJs since 1985. <laughs> he is the Jurassic Juggernaut, Vince Steele! <laughs> Alvin Alvarez is about to spin a record and called I'm Gonna Be the Champion the Still. Oh, Mr. Alvarez has a correction for his introduction. He is the self-proclaimed king of the Northeast. These people need to shut their mouths and pay respects to the king. Waiting for so long for the introductions, the mic died. Here he comes. Look at this. Production team members. Wild Kenny appears. Crikey! He is too good for the PWI top. 500 list. <laughs> oh, my man, Pots and Pans. I love Alvin Alvarez. And he would like to thank all of you in attendance tonight for celebrating his 1,042nd day as your current reigning and defending ace heavyweight champion. This is hashtag I'm, I'm gonna clap because I'm glad it's done. Thousand days, Cheyenne. One thousand forty-two. Over a thousand days. One thousand forty-two, ladies and gentlemen. If you keep in score, number seven on the all-time champions list. This guy is that good, that smart. In order to keep the championship, will do whatever it takes. The Lord knows I have a soft spot for Big Vince Steele, and this is definitely gonna be a tall order. No pun intended. Brooke Aptor did not want to take that. Uh, <laughs> That's her new name, ladies and gentlemen. I don't care what anybody says. <laughs> He's sick and do it. <laughs> Nick Shin showing what it's all about. The ace heavyweight title. Get ready. Oh, wait, Alvin. Alvin doesn't want the match to start. He and wants to make sure everybody pays respect. And it's tactics like this that has prolonged the title reign. They of can't count anything because the match hasn't started. What were the air fingers for? I don't know. What no one can about. see you. This the A Station is pissed. They want to see the same thing as me, and that is a main event. Well, they're going to get one. And Alvin Alvarez is going to send all these mongoloids home happy. Is this a test of strength? That's right, Alvin. Show him who's boss. Now, I want to point out, to be fair, that Alvin Alvarez has, in fact, bench-pressed over 400 pounds and has squatted 500. Whoa! But usually the weights don't have a pulse like Vince Steele. Listen, the Jurassic Juggernaut ain't playing games. He knows what's on the line here. And like I said, I may love Alvin Alvarez, but I do have a soft spot for the, for the Jurassic Juggernaut. I always have. Yeah, these guys, they both command respect. They're both triple crown winners here in Ace. 
Oh, and they've accomplished so much, they deserve that respect. That's a 100% fact. And let's, let's check something out here. The last title that Vince Steele held was the Diamond Division Championship. The last title Absolute Alvin Alvarez had before becoming a heavyweight champion, the Diamond Division Championship. Yeah, well, they've both been champions. Nobody, though, nobody has been the champion the length of Alvin Alvarez. And up. Another duck under. Oh, Alvin trying to go for a clothesline. I give him that much, but not even phasing the Jurassic Juggernaut. And oh, again. Keep in mind, Vince Steele almost became the universal champion for WWC. So it's not like he doesn't have the tenacity of a champion in him. Listen, he's got the credentials. He can definitely be a champion anywhere he goes. It's just not going to happen at Ace because Alvin Alvarez is the champion right now. Alvarez literally looks like a toddler. Whoa! And Steele. Near fall very early, gentlemen. Very early. You just mentioned how Alvarez looked like a toddler. Look at the strength of Vince Steele. But look at the brains of Alvin Alvarez to roll out of the ring and create the separation. Listen, the one thing I, the one thing, and I've always said this about Vince Steele, Vince doesn't get paid by the hour. That's right. Vince needs to get in and out, so he knows what it's going to take. He's going to do high-impact moves, yeah. try to end this as early as possible. Yeah, and let's point out that when these two last faced, before Alvin Alvarez ever so perfectly got himself disqualified. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, look oh. at that. In pursuit is Vince Steele. Alvin Alvarez tried to prolong the match as long as he could. Alvin Alvarez just always is a smart, cunning champion. He's always looking for his opening. That's that's what it is. But it's very hard to find an opening when a guy is that big and, and, and that powerful. And he's right on your back no matter how... I mean, well, look at this. What is going on here? What is what, this? What is... What is Nick Shin ace, doing? The Ace Nation. Come on with that. Well, this, you know, an experience like no other for our fans. Where's the security? Throw that fan out, holding the holding and, Alvin like that. And the veteran, Vince Steele, breaking the count. Where's the disqualification, Cheyenne? That was help from the outside. I, my monitor went out. Oh, your monitor went out, conveniently. Yeah. Cheyenne, I like what you just said. I wrote it down that Vinny will bring the experience to the fans. That's an important thing. What experience to the fans? He's letting them cheat with him. I thought you condoned cheating, Mr. Fonte. When it's done in the ring. Not by fans. To be fair, it is T-neck. That is true. And the Ace Nation again, the heavyweight title match in oh, IMAX, if is, you will. This is cooking up something here. Look at this. What, what around, is this with the guy the holding? Podcast Nick Shin, what are you doing? Uh, oh. What is going on? Be sure to check out the Around the Ropes podcast for moments like that, as well as interviews, highlights, coverage, discussion, and more Around the Ropes podcast. Uh, are the, uh, is it hosted by two cheaters? Is, is that show hosted by some cheaters? Because that's what I'm seeing right now. Look at this, all these fans smacking. Oh, and Nick Shin is not doing a thing. This is insanity well, right now. Well, let's point out they have not broken the t they have not broken the 10 count. If I was Ace Brass, I would come out here and suspend this Nick Shin. And look at this. Uh, no, oh, Steel no, no, now. No, 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 no. no, no. Look at this. What Just are you doing? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, no. I see what happened. Alvin. Oh. Alvin. You saw Alvin Gown Steele's eyes, damn Beautiful it. Beautiful move by the champion. The champion knows what he's got yeah. to do to retain. The champion knew, the champion knew that the hourglass was running out. And he just flipped it over. That's what he did. Now he's bought himself some more time. Let's go, Alvin. Shows that win at all cost mentality hey. that has led to this reign. Listen, Mikey, if I was Alvin, I wouldn't be a hero. I'd leave him right there out and just get counted out. I'd roll in the ring. And leave it be. Champion's advantage. Yeah, exactly. but you gotta, yeah, but you gotta believe Steel's not downed yet. Oh, wait a minute, this could do it right here. Oh, another oh. turn. Hammerlock, shoulder first. Yeah, another ring post, guys. That moves the whole ring, boys. Yeah. But he, yeah. Had, he had him in a hammerlock, so not only did he go shoulder first, but it twerked the whole left arm backwards. Yeah. If I was Alvin, get back in the ring, just milk that count, and let them count him out. I don't care how Jurassic you are, you get hit with one of those ring posts, you're gonna feel it. It's going to take out your energy going Listen, into a big title match for sure. Steel always wins over bones, cartilage, and muscle. And... Oh, oh there oh. it is. Now refocusing to the left arm, classic. Vince Steele can't slam you if he can't lift you. Mikey D, the champion, has definitely got to be impressing you right now. 
You know, if you take out the, the, the arm of Vince Steele, you know, the man is 100% power. The more you take out of him, the harder it is for him to get his hands on you. Vince Steele, uh, listen, like I said, I got a soft spot for him. I don't want to see him get hurt, but he's got to do what it takes to, 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 to defeat and dethrone a man who's held the belt for over a thousand days. Look at the power of Alvin pushing Steele in. I mean, when does Alvin Alvarez finally earn the respect of this ace nation? And Alvarez barely shoots the half. Now notice that Steele kicked out with the right shoulder, not the left arm. Cheyenne, no part you, of the left arm. How can you shoot a full half against this giant? Well, it's impossible. It might get easier if... There it is, working out yeah, on brilliant move. Right to the left shoulder, right to that left appendage. Yeah, you can see, look, Steele's arm is, Steele's arm and shoulder is bruising. Visibly bruising yeah. right in front of us as yeah. we speak. Yeah, for sure. Welting up, it's, it's not good for Vince. And this brilliant move by and the now champion. now look at that hyperextension. It's all right to get disqualified, you're the champion, you don't lose. You mentioned that he broke the what? count. He broke the count. I wouldn't have. Alvin is actually showing the respect to Vince Steele by breaking the count. Listen, as the champion, I throw sportsmanship out the window. It's anything goes to retain the title. And for the kids at home, Tony Fatu was a world champion in his heyday. And I did. I cheat to win every time. And I cheated to retain, and I didn't care who, th who thought otherwise. I remember seeing it on Sip Street. Thank you very much. Very long time ago, but it's good to know that I'm still remembered, Cheyenne. And you know what I'm talking about? He's being remembered. Are Alvin you Alvarez. done? <laughs> Are you done? Alvin Alvarez. That's I what I'm talking about. I just want to know. He's going to be remembered. You're done. Him. And the Ace Nation firmly behind the juggernaut. Notice what Alvin is doing. He's keeping Steele down. And by staying on top of the arm, it's going to be harder for well, Vince Steele to get up. Cross arm. Cross arm bar here. Yeah, got the arm perfect, perfectly great find, yeah. by the way. Great yeah. presence. Great leg cinch there. Listen, I've great wrap around. I've had this done to me. It is not pleasant. It's very hard to get out of. And you can quickly find yourself with a separated shoulder. And Alvin's got it. He's got it cinched in pretty yeah. tight. I mean, Steele's close to the ropes, but he hasn't gotten there yet. Vince might want to think, maybe, you know, tap out, live to fight another day here. Yeah, but you got to believe in the... When that pain... Oh, look at that! That's a great show of power. It's not the style that we're used to. Oh, wait a minute. What is Vince cooking up here? Vince got the Vince rolled him over and yeah, he got him into cover. a pinning scenario, but just doesn't have enough to hold it. Yeah, didn't get the shoulders down. Got to give the champion a ring awareness, and that's gonna make the ref. Yeah, exactly. Try to separate. It's about time. Alvin, job. nice. Regroups quickly. Attacks. Smart play by the champ. Yeah, but look. Every time he uses it, oh. Just peppering him across the face, guys. Vince is doing whatever it takes right now just to keep the champion off of him. He's just trying to buy him some breathing space. These people are calling him an absolute fatty. I think, I'm not sure what I they're think saying. maybe they should take a look in the mirror before they judge somebody. I, who are you to judge? Listen, I'm a slim, trim human being right now. Who are you to judge? It's very hard for me to stay concentrated. Well, what's going on when the two of you do that? You know that, right? Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, now that you two aren't making out anymore here at hey, the table. Hey, huh? You leave my Jack Laleen physique alone. As yeah. the champion now has a chin lock firmly yeah. applied. As in dead and bloated. Yeah, you do walk around like a 90-year-old man, Trey. <laughs> That's very true. Dressed like one, too. That's Dressed a whole one. other thing. I've never seen anybody a bigger fan of Barry Manilow than Cheyenne Ortiz. But you know I'm a fan of right now? Alvin is staying on top of Steel. That's what I'm a fan of. Well, you, you, if you're not a fan of the champion, I... Oh! I think the big, the big focus here is that Alvin Alvarez has, in fact, taken down Ben Steel. Now can these idiots here in T-neck and the, the jerks in the locker room finally give this champion his due? But I asked the question. If Steel was not taken down by the bottom, near the bottom rope, would Alvin have retained? Probably. Do we believe he would have gotten the extra count? I'm starting to see, as you put, as you pointed out earlier in Hourglass, I'm starting to see the sands run out on Vince Steele. You brought up earlier about how Absolute Alvin had to win by the count out. And I know that there was a lot of flack set on social media and by one Cheyenne Ortiz about how Alvin kept the title. What do you have to say about the fact that he's staying on top of Steele? Well, I give it to, to more so his strategy 
than his mental awareness. I think it's just a matter of he knew what he had to do. Without that eye rake, would he have gotten this type of momentum? Listen, when you, you got to do what you got to do because if he hadn't, he would have gotten pulled by, by Vince no, Steele. You want to have, you're, you're missing the point. You want to have a contest that features tenacity and savvy and back and forthness, not cheating. Well, th th that's our problem here because I want to see a winner by any means necessary. I don't care how you get the W as long as you get the dub. Hashtag sportsmanship as right now you are watching Overdrive. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Check out all of our forms of social media as right now the champion, Alvin Alvarez, has that, that arm situation tightly applied to the challenge. And keep an eye out for that hashtag, uh, trapping my ass. Back to the action, though. Oh, Vince Steele throwing some heavy hits here. Yeah, but no. Oh! oh! Standing heel kick by the juggernaut. That was a lot of beef coming at Alvin. Yeah. Throwing it back to the remix days. I mean, Vince Steele's gonna, he has to dig deep and deep, deep, deep into that tool bag. Especially now with the hurt shoulder. Notice though, when Steele went down, he's, he's still favoring the shoulder. Exactly, I mean, if you're looking at these two gentlemen right now, do you think Vince has much left in the tank? Nursing that shoulder as it is, throwing yeah, that but elbow. You gotta remember, Vince Steele. Oh! is what we call an OG of the Ace Locker Room. He has been to the mountain time and time again, and he's gonna climb it by I'm any means he's number one. Whoa! Oh, oh look at that takedown! Nice senton! Nice senton, that could be it right there! Get oh, quite come the on, get Nick quite the Shin! Quite the reaction out of the Ace Nation here. Can you speed up that count a little bit? Referee was in good position. The official is unbiased. We should try it sometime. Hey. Leg hook one, two. That was oh. smart by the champion. He's making Vince Steele use more energy to kick out. Yeah. Alvin is yeah. visibly frustrated now because he doesn't know what he's got to do to beat him, to keep him down. Listen, I... Vince Steele has earned my complete and utter respect tonight. And Alvarez straps dropping down. And you gotta, here's the thing. Say what you will, but Steele's still in this. Like I said, he's earned my respect. He won't, he won't go quietly into that good night. And, oh, oh my God. Steele follows up the clothesline. And no! Center of the ring. Steel. It's got cut. Some cooking up here. Oh, no. oh, 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 God. No, no, no. Oh, wow. Steel able to get that near fall, though, guys. Alvin's 100, 1047 day title reign literally going up in smoke right now. In its simplicity, when you're a man of that size, that girth, a scoop slam followed by a splash, yeah, you'll become a champion right that away. That could be the end of the match right there. It, it, Vince Steele is showing the people right now why he has been around for as long as he has, why he's been everywhere, why he's gone viral. This is, listen, you're making very good points. There's a reason why he's considered the best big man in the business and he's shown everybody right now. And there's a reason that the Ace Nation considers him to be the champion by the end of the night. But notice Alvin is still in this. Exactly, as long as Alvin draws breath, I think Alvin will do whatever it takes and to retain. You, and you know what? If nothing else, I'll, I'll say it in a whoa, fair whoa, whoa, manner. Whoa, try in, try in. Oh, oh, great, great, great ring awareness by the champion. Here goes Alvin. Look at the follow up. Absolute yes. splash. If this could be it, Cheyenne. Alvin's going to retain. Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? Steele had to use a lot to kick out on that, though. He had to use the right arm. That was the near arm. Damn, what a match, boys. Alvarez completely apoplectic in that near fall. Cheyenne, I, I, before when we were sitting here watching Gangone versus Rob Vegas, I didn't think anything could top that. And now here we are calling this main event right now. Yeah. You gotta believe Alvarez working on a switch here. He's he's got he's gotta think of a new game plan. And let's keep in mind, say what you will about the method. Alvarez, you're right, he is still in this because let's keep in mind. If he really wanted to, 
he can retain the title the way that he usually does. Be a count out for your disqualification by any means necessary. The fact that he's stay, trying to stand toe to toe with Steele, he should earn your respect as well. Now Steele with the splash. Can Steele? That's a second one, classic. Cheyenne, he's moving this entire ring with every splash. This match, the ring has definitely moved around at least four inches in every direction. That means he's using his entire 400 plus pound frame to just lay on Alvin. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh! Finally, Nick Shin gets what he deserves. Thank you, God. It's about time. Nick Shin is out. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, I see something. I don't know if you see it, but I see it. Hey, what the hell is that? Just looks like he's giving himself a little bit of a helping hand, no Alvarez pun intended. Alvarez got a chain around his fist? Come on, guys! And Steele worried about almost killing Nick Shin here. Oh, no, come on, it can't be this way. It cannot be this way. Uh, Alvarez gonna get him, Alvarez gonna- no. Oh, right in the forehead! Well, they didn't drop him, Cheyenne didn't drop him. Oh, no. Steele is still up. Alvin- Alvin's even uh, confused. Alvin can't hit him again! Alvin cannot hit him again. Wait a minute, he's getting him again. Himself a running head start. Oh! oh wow! No! 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 Oh, what? No. What? No way! Wait! No! Wait! No! No! no, no. Oh, oh my God. God! The title reign is done. Cheyenne! What is going on? He got him. No, Cheyenne! No! He got him! He was a champion for a thousand days! And won! What happened? He got him! Oh my god, what a mistake! He got oh him! Oh god, no! Vince Steele is your new ace heavyweight yes. champion! Get on top of him, What Marvin. the hell? Get on top of him! Do we have no depravity? Can somebody have their moment? Oh my god, I can't believe this! The title reign ends at 147 days! 1,000! 100, whatever! 1,000 days! Vince Steele doesn't even know he's the champ! He has no idea! He's just hearing his music now! I Nick Shin can't even raise his hand! Oh my god, dude, what a travesty! Oh, wait a minute. I think Steele is realizing. He finally realized. Welcome to the party, Vince. Steele is realizing that it's his party and it is his title reign after so many days. Mikey D, please, please, please make him realize. The history is never stopping here on Overdrive. These last weeks, the title has changed every week, Cheyenne. Oh my god, what action, dude! The Jurassic Juggernaut, Vince Steele, completely caved in the over 1,000 day reign of hashtag absolute Alvin Alvarez. Boys, if I was Alvin Alvarez, I'd be tearing down the locker room to find Mike Morgan and find a, get yourself a rematch, bring out a ref right now, and beat him up and take back your title. All I know is I do not oh, want man. the catering bill for this party. Classic Mikey D, sports agent extraordinaire. How dare you make that, that Tony statement? Tony Fatu, the Lord Sean Ortiz. Thanks for watching Overdrive. Alvin Alvarez was robbed. Tonight is an injustice. You see, you, you saw what went down there. I beat myself. I'm more frustrated at myself. You know, no, I'm not frustrated at myself. I'm frustrated at everything that happened. I beat Vinny from, from post to pillar tonight. The guy didn't even know he was hitting me. The referee was unconscious. Are you kidding me? I, I may be 1,042 and one, but I am the one. And I want that rematch. And that's absolutely Ace Nation, I'm currently with the new Ace Heavyweight Champion. Ben Steele, you have to be elated with this with this victory. Man, man. Last thing I remember is getting hit, yeah. and then all of a sudden he's picking up and everybody's cheering. Well, Mr. Steele, Alvin Alvarez tried to hit you. Well, he succeeded with all the two shots to face with that with that fist, with that chain. Legitimately. Well, I'm not just, 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 I
Okay, when are you weak? So, my mama said I got a head like a doorknob. So, it's the. So all the fans will be a defending champion when we're here. Ace Nation, you heard it here first. Vince Steele is the one in 1,042.